Uh, this morning in Cannes we are doing a one very interesting test. We have now the a new Hawk from Sunseeker and uh, it's running more than 60 miles. So let's check. This is the Hawk 38, a new high performance day boat for Sunseeker which impressed at the first sight with its aggressive design with a whole length of 12 meters and width of only 2.32 meters. With this model Sunseeker is returning to its sporting heritage because almost 20 years have passed since the last racing model came out of this shipyard. Let's start with the details first. What else have we got? Then we've got the Luma shore. So throughout the vessel there's lighting. So this can be controlled for your telephone as well on the app. Mm -hmm. We've got the new fusion equipment. So this has got eight speakers. So for parties, mm -hmm. it's um, it's got the sounds. So on here you can pick all your zones. So now we can awake everybody here in yeah. Cannes. <laughs> yeah. So this is the Simrad um, electronic mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. switching. And Sunsea has designed some software to go with it, so we can uh, mm -hmm. do all the day running, night running, we can turn the boat off, back it, um, eco mode, eco. etc. Um, basically, it turn a few bit, bits off, so if we go eco, we can go to the rest. Or um, it's engines off, so it's basically when you're, when ah. you're just alongside so in the marina, okay, okay, okay. chilling out. Because um, we obviously don't have a generator on board, you're just looking after that domestic battery. Mm. So, so, obviously, with day running, so we'll turn the trim tabs on. Um, not massive equipment needs to be turned on for day running, mm. so engine batteries will turn on. The night running, it just adds the lights really. Mm -hmm. um, the anchoring mode turns on your captain at the bow. Mm -hmm. Then we'll switch in the back for the main power. That will turn this one as well. Is this standard? What do we see here? I believe so. I believe this is pretty much standard, just with a limited edition. They're trying to keep the specifications to this sort of level. The first ten are going to have custom paints. Mm -hmm. So this is done by Destes in um, Southampton Waters. Okay, but what's so about the engines? It's uh, currently this is the, the spec option, but I know two times four hundred is yep. uh, standard. Yeah, yeah, okay. And I know they do the Yam Yamaha version as well. And next year we're looking for the four fifties, mm -hmm. and that V eight comes out. So that could be a. And then you will go seventy knots. Oh, let's hope. <laughs> <laughs> so in here, I'll just do it on this one. Go on to the pumps. So we've got the tube inflation, so I'm just going to pop those on this morning. And bolster as a switch, which brings the, oh, yeah. the seat up and down. So you've got a choice, you can either sit in the seat or if you wish to stand. Yeah. Yep. Um, we've got the anti-theft device from um, Mercury yeah. as well. So you can go off very slowly, but you won't get very fast. Mm. So we'll chase you down. <laughs> This is just doing the pumps on the side. You have, you have a toilet on board? Black water? Or? Yep, there's a day head, so oh, okay. we'll come up to the bow while they're waiting. So if we start at the bow, um, we've got very, very big space for storage for bags, mm -hmm. owner's equipment. Um, but okay. what they do do on the um, specification option, you have two C bobs in here, mm -hmm. so charge points. So when you're plugged in at the shore power, mm -hmm. you can um, charge up your C bobs and uh, go for a little swim. It's quite a nice feature. Got another locker down here, which uh, features a calm fibre table. So when you're lounging at anchor, um, obviously a bit of a necessity. So a little picnic area. You can just hear the dinghy inflator pumps. So we put compressors on on board. So when you're running with your tubes, just to ensure the pressures are um, correct. So these are very important systems. Yeah, that it's for stability. Yeah, it's stability. a big, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, so big difference. On the flip side, it makes it very safe for mm -hmm. the owner as mm -hmm. well. So if you're not used to this caliber of vessel, it's not going to scare you too much. So obviously, you can play a bit too hard, but these will look after you and the choppier water. It'll always keep the hull just planted on that speed. Are they, are they, sorry, are they reducing any speed or no? Or? Well, they actually add because what they do as you're uh -huh. as you're going through there. It's not in the, the water then. Yeah. Yeah, so it's giving you, it's almost giving you support, so it's, you're not losing any loss of drag or anything because it's just keeping that hull. So as you absorb, it's almost giving you the coming through, especially yeah, the triple totally, step. Yeah, because if you have the yeah. shape of the you know cigarette, when you when you pin it, yeah, then you yeah, are yeah. kind of the yeah. less resistance yeah. in the pool, faster. Mm -hmm. So that's the yeah. reason why I ask. You know, additional tube if they are giving stability, but maybe reducing the speed. But yeah, uh, yeah be interesting. They've, they've never tried them without. So. Huh? This hole's not been tested without those. They did in Lake Como. They did a test without the upper screen. A lot of the weights were shaved off. Mm -hmm. So they run it, I think it was 3.7 tonne. 
Um, Brian again can give you that data for that. I know, I know the the, the photos of uh, yeah. that run, and uh, I have also the. Yeah, I think it was 65 yeah. knots they got then. So we mm -hmm. haven't, to be honest, with all the extra weight, of the hard top, etc. They haven't lost that great amount of speed. Another good locker down here. Let's see, let's hear that. We've got the uh, Fabio Brooksy trim tabs as well. What I've actually found with our experience of running so far, um, the boat runs so well, we haven't really used a much trim tab to be honest, but some scenarios with extra weight, fully fueled, loads of guests, you may just need them just to lift the back up a touch, but from our experience we haven't really. Um, trim controls on the engines, we've got both combined on the left hand throttle. And we've got independent, so again, if you, you can trim the boat with this or you can trim the boat with your engines as well. So what we've been doing, up to about 35, 40 knots, if we're running about two, plus two, um, then up through the higher rev range to get that 7,000 RPM, you're just bringing the props away slightly, supercharger, mm -hmm. start winding, and then you just go that extra bit further. Um, so back here, we've got the electronic tech. You can just see the uh, water tank here, fuel tank fuel tank and then the black water tank is in the bow. Uh, is it, a, yeah there is a, probably the shower. Yep deck oh, shower, no, so there's no, a swim no, no. shower just here, yeah. comes out just for the swim deck. Yeah. Um, down on the uh, port you have some kind of the there's a ladder. Ladder, yeah. Yeah, ladder comes out and telescopic on this side. Yeah. Well, done, which is quite smart as well, just lift the handle. Yeah, that is very yeah. smart thing, yeah. Snowboard thruster or something like that. Uh, no thruster. Uh, We've because had... the engines they are so close, so I, I'm yeah. interesting even to try it. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. like slowly, you know, going out of marina to yeah. see how because it's long boat yeah. and the two engines they are very close. Yeah. So this is a question we have had quite a few times, but I think speaking of Fabio Books here, I'm sure you can get a four-inch thruster in the hull if a customer wanted that. Especially sort. if you have, you know somebody who is yeah. not really... Again, there's one question for Brian, I'd say. Yeah. Um, it's been asked quite a few times, so we've um, put that info over to Brian to get you the information on that, if it is an option. Um, one thing for the, the further drilling junkies, you see the little cutout on the uh, yep. teak? Uh, ski pole. So you can be, be a mono ski at uh -huh, yeah. 70 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's also two speakers just under the hood. Just there. On a swim deck, having a swim around, more music for the people behind. Cool, right, let's go. Hawk 38 is a good link between a fast boat and a racing boat. This combination comes with a price. It's not just the price in the money, which is more than 600,000 pounds, but also the price in the comfort. But if you want stability at high speeds, that's what you get. Sailing at maximum speed requires full concentration and both hands on the steering wheel. When you lower the throttle slightly, steering the boat comes a real pleasure. Considering the Hawk's very narrow hull, the inflatable side tubes provide sleek stability.
you very much. No uh, worries. That is not to burn more fuel, it's not necessary, you know, it's just to get the feeling of the bird. Yeah. Being behind the wheel is fun, but I wanted to see how it looks like from the rear passenger perspective. And as you can see, it doesn't look so much fun. At the end of the test, we did not reach a speed greater than 60 knots. The speed of 55 knots reached was more than enough for complete adrenaline pleasure. What impressed me the most was maneuverability provided by well-balanced hull. On our return I was intrigued by Hawk's maneuver in the cramped space of the marina. The length of 12 meters with two outboard engines placed next to each other are not the most optimal combination for precise maneuver. Completely calm sea and total lack of wind allowed us to dock precisely. Different weather conditions would require a very experienced skipper's hand.